So for today's WordPress video, I want to show you how you can use an editorial calendar right in your WordPress site. So you may have seen some editorial calendars that you can print off and write, but I find this handy to just have everything within WordPress if you are blogging with WordPress. And this calendar is a great way to organize your blog post. So uh, if you go to your plugin section and you click add new, you are going to search for the editorial calendar. And the one that I'm using is by Colin Vernon, Justin Evans, and a bunch of other authors here. And so once you activate that, you'll now have a new link in your post section called calendar. So if you click on that, you're brought back to this calendar page. And once you hover over all these dates, you'll see this link at the top that says new post. So I'll say I want a new post for Friday and I'll call it um, trips I want to do. And here's content to be filled in, filled in later. And I'll just schedule that, sure, 10 a.m. sounds good. And I'll, um, I'll keep it as a draft. Now if you um, use this drop down and you actually say it's scheduled, it will um, go live at 10 a.m. on Friday. But for now, we just, we just want to keep it as a draft. So once you keep it as a draft and then you hover over the title, you can actually go further in and edit your post or delete it or view that post. Uh, you'll notice if you scroll up, these are the posts that have already gone live. So here, if you scroll over that, I can actually view this post, uh, which is currently on my site. And um, I want to show you up here on the top right, if you click show unscheduled drafts, it will show you drafts that you already um, have created in your post section. And you can easily drag and drop those to different days that you want to um, schedule those for. So again, these are just drafts and they won't go live until you say scheduled or you manually click publish. So that's a good thing to note. So this is a really easy way to organize your whole blog to come up with ideas and um, hope this is useful to you and I'll have more WordPress tips soon.